On Saturday, Bernie Sanders held his Welcome Back Bernie rally in Queens, New York, and more than 25,000 people showed up to see Bernie Sanders take the stage with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Michael Moore and make their endorsements of him official. Now, I want to play a clip from AOC's speech. This is a relatively long clip. It's about six minutes. But she makes a really powerful case for Bernie Sanders, not just because he has the correct policy positions, but she really does a phenomenal job at putting this entire primary race, along with American politics in general, into perspective. And this is exactly what people need to hear. The reason why the Democratic Party primary is the way that it is, the reason why we're all talking about certain policies is because of one person, Bernie Sanders. This is what she had to say. Last February, I was working as a waitress in downtown Manhattan at a taqueria. I was on my feet working 12-hour days with no structured breaks. I didn't have health care. I wasn't being paid a living wage. And I didn't think that I deserved any of those things. Because that, because that is the script that we tell working people here and all over this country that your inherent worth and value as a human being is dependent on an income that another person decided to underpay us. It wasn't until I heard of a man by the name of Bernie Sanders. to question and assert and recognize my inherent value as a human being that deserves health care, housing, education, and a living wage. When I was growing up and education was being gutted for kids in the quote-unquote wrong zip code, Bernie Sanders fought for us. When I was a child that relied on CHIP so that I could see a doctor, Bernie Sanders fought for a single-payer health care system. When the federal government decided to discriminate and abandon my queer family and friends, Bernie Sanders was putting his career on the line for us. When I was a waitress and when it was time for me to graduate college with student debt, Bernie Sanders was the, one of the only ones that said no person should be graduating with life-crushing debt at the start of their lives. <laughs> Bernie Sanders did not do these things because they were popular. And that's what we need to remember. He did these, this, and he fought for these aims and these ends when they came at the highest political cost in America. No one wanted to question this system. And in 2016, he fundamentally changed politics in America. We right now have one of the best democratic presidential primary fields in a generation. And much of that is thanks to the work that Bernie Sanders has done in his entire life. United States Congress now. And that's a long, long way from being a sexually harassed waitress in downtown Manhattan one year ago. However, in this new historic freshman congressional class, 
an overwhelming amount of them now reject corporate PAC money. That's thanks to Bernie. An enormous amount of the House of Representatives endorse Medicare for all. That's thanks to Bernie. Now that I'm on that other side, I can tell you the halls of Congress are no joke. It is no joke to stand up to corporate power and established interests. It is no joke. It's not just about standing up and saying these things, but behind closed doors, your arm is twisted. The vice pressure of political pressure gets put on you. And every trick in the book, psychological and otherwise, is used to get us to abandon the working class. It is in, and it has been in that experience over the last nine months that I have grown to appreciate the enormous, consistent, and nonstop advocacy of Senator Bernie Sanders. <laughs> the only reason that I had any hope in launching a long shot campaign for Congress is because Bernie Sanders proved that you can run a grassroots campaign and win in an America where we almost thought it was impossible. That was absolutely phenomenal. And I've said this once, I'll say it again. We really need to appreciate the timing of this endorsement. Every single strategist in Washington, D.C., you know that they would have advised AOC or any other politician to not endorse Bernie Sanders, especially when he's in the hospital recovering from a heart attack. But the fact that she did it, the fact that she chose to be brave and endorse him at a time when this wasn't politically expedient, when, you know, there are tons of advisors in her ear telling her this isn't going to be good for your long term career. You might as well just endorse Warren and try to have some leverage within the campaign. This really shows that AOC is the real deal. And she really talks about the effect that Bernie Sanders has had on everyone's life. He instilled in working people a sense of purpose, you know, that it doesn't have to be this way. Housing insecurity and living paycheck to paycheck, this isn't just a part of life. Things are this way because the system is designed to be this way. So she goes on to talk about how Bernie Sanders was on the right side of every single issue, LGBTQ rights, Medicare for all. And what she said um, was really remarkable. He fought for these things when this was a really high cost in America. Like fighting for LGBTQ rights when you are the mayor of Burlington, Vermont in the 1980s, that comes at a gigantic political cost. But Bernie Sanders did what was right and not what was politically expedient. And AOC lays it out. She also talks about how all of the 2020 congressional candidates running for office now, part of Justice Democrats, brand new Congress. The reason why they're rejecting corporate PAC money is because of Bernie Sanders. A reason why most Democrats in the House of Representatives have co-sponsored Medicare for All, it's because of Bernie Sanders. She lays it out all perfectly clearly, and this was one of the most powerful speeches she's ever given, and perhaps the most substantial endorsement I've ever seen because everything is put into perspective here by AOC. The reason why we have a primary that's so robust, that's actually left wing and not right wing. The reason why it seems like the Overton window is shifting, at least with regard to Democratic Party politics, is because of Bernie Sanders. No one else. Now, another thing that I really appreciate is the insight that she gives us. You know, as a member of Congress behind closed doors, your arm is always twisted. Political pressure is constantly exerted on you. They use every trick in the book, psychological and otherwise, to try to get you to abandon the working class. Now, think about the fact that Bernie Sanders has been in Congress for decades. And he's resisted that. Almost every other person, in some way, shape, or form, has caved to special interests, has caved to pressure. But Bernie Sanders, for the most part, has resisted that. 
for most of his career. That really is remarkable. To have that type of willpower shows me that he is the real deal. I mean, really, we may never get a candidate like this ever again until AOC runs for president. So we don't want to miss this opportunity. We don't know if she wants to run for president. But Bernie Sanders, we're all going to be looking back at this moment 30 years from now, and we will remember Bernie Sanders win or lose. We're going to think Bernie Sanders was the president who got us on the trajectory of social democracy, or alternatively, we could think Bernie Sanders is the one who got away. This really is a powerful moment in history. It's a turning point. Um, and the writing's on the wall. It says Bernie Sanders, and AOC lays that out, I think, explicitly clear and perfectly. So this was such a powerful speech, and even though I wasn't in attendance, I'm not in Queens, I'm, I'm on the other side of the country, you know, I was watching this online, and you could just feel the energy. It was electric. Like, this is a real movement. This is real momentum, and we've all got to capitalize on it. We need to seize the moment because we may never get a moment like this or an opportunity like this where we are in striking distance of real political power to institute change that would dramatically remake this country for the better. So AOC's speech here was remarkable. Now what I want to leave you with is Bernie Sanders' speech because he's going to talk about AOC and also give her credit because she has done a remarkable job, at, you know, being in Congress not even a year. The way that she has impacted discourse and, you know, influenced the Democratic Party for the better, it really can't be understated. So here's what Bernie Sanders says about AOC. And let me thank Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. It is, that's right. It is, you know, I've been around politics a few years. And it is hard to believe the degree to which in less than one year, this woman, the youngest woman ever elected to Congress, it is hard to believe the degree to which she has transformed politics in America. Coming from a struggling family from Puerto Rico, she has been a fierce defender of the working class of our country. She has taken on the greed of Wall Street with legislation to put a cap on interest rates. She has been a leader in the fight against gentrification for rent control, for affordable housing, and all within one year, she has electrified this country when she introduced the concept of the Green New Deal. Alexandria has become an inspiration to millions of young people, not just here in New York, but across this country. who now understand the importance of political participation and standing up for justice. Andrea, thank you so much. And I am so delighted that Alexandria is part of our campaign, and I look forward to traveling with her all over this country.